Welcome to McFly Angler. I've never been a guide, but I still enjoy teaching people how to catch more fish. So join me in this video where I show you how I tie this fly. So there's no secret here. This fly is not actually tied. It's constructed with UV resin and sort of glued together rather than using thread to tie on materials. It does make for a quick and easy fly once you get the hang of it, and you can fill a fly box easy for a variety of panfish species. I like using a jig hook, so this fly swims hook point up, and I really like these risen barbless jig hooks. Number 9230, in size 12. For the tail of the fly, we're simply using a rubber leg material. There are a wide variety of styles and colors of these that you can buy online. All of these here I got on either eBay or Amazon. As you can see, they usually come in sample packs where you get a few different color combinations. And one pack will probably allow you to tie 50 to 100 of these small flies, if not more. Okay, I'm using this color today. I don't need it that long, so cutting it in half allows you to get two flies from one leg. Then I like using both Solarez Thin Hard and Solarez Flex for this fly. Put a drop of Thin Hard resin on the hook. Then stick your rubber leg in the resin and make sure the leg is angled straight back on the hook. Then cure the resin hard, which will stick the leg into place. Okay, let's add a little bit more resin to ensure the leg stays put. Then you can add a few eyes. Do this by putting them on both sides of the hook. Try to get them even as well, but make sure the eyes hang lower under the hook shank, just to make sure the top does not impede hook set. Now it can be tricky to get them placed correctly, but once you're happy with the placement, then put a drop of thin hard formula between the eyes and cure them like so. Then turn the fly upside down and put another drop in between the eyes on the bottom and cure that hard as well. Now to build the body, I like using the flex formula because it will give the body a little give, which not only feels better to the fish when biting, but it also helps keep this more durable. So just coat the entire body with flex, and it helps to spin the fly around to ensure that it's evenly coated on the fly, and not bunching up on one side or the other. Cure this into place while spinning the fly. Now my light battery is going out here, so it's taking a little longer than normal, but it does cure very firmly and without tackiness, unlike most other flexible curing resins on the market. So continue building the body to the shape that you want by adding more flex formula if you need. And that's pretty much it. I mean, the fly is finished. Now we added quite a bit of resin here, so you could always put the fly in front of a window as direct sunlight will further cure this, if your light happens to be dying like mine was. And of course, flipping it a few minutes into the other side is beneficial as well. But there we go, a simple quick fly to tie. I mean, seriously guys, it takes like one minute each once you get going on these and it's very inexpensive also. Perfect for these little panfish. Hey, just so you guys know, you can get 15% off at www.risenfly.com on everything in their store, including these awesome hooks I used today. Type in McFly at checkout for your discount. Well, thanks for watching. Please hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.